NASA just awarded 415 million US dollars to help develop new space stations in low Earth orbit. Let's get into everything we know so far. Welcome back to the Launchpad, Zach here with a TLP Flash News update. Just days after we reported on the future of the International Space Station and NASA's plans for its deorbit, NASA has signed an agreement with three U.S. companies to develop designs of space stations and other commercial destinations in low Earth orbit. The agreement is part of the agency's effort to enable a robust American-led commercial economy in low Earth orbit. The total estimated award amount for all three funded Space Act agreements is $415.6 million, with $130 million going to Blue Origin, $160 million to NanoRacks, and $125.6 million to Northrop Grumman. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson released a statement saying, Building on our successful initiatives with partners in the private sector to deliver cargo and now NASA astronauts to the International Space Station, NASA is once again leading the way to commercialize space activities. With commercial companies now providing transportation to the low Earth orbit, we are partnering with the U.S. companies to develop the space destinations where people can visit, live, and work, enabling NASA to continue forging the path forward in space to benefit humanity. Similar to what we saw with the commercial crew program and then the human landing system contracts, this is a two-phase approach to ensure a seamless transition when the ISS is retired. The first phase, which starts right now, will continue through 2025. During this phase, private industry, in coordination with NASA, will formulate and design commercial low-Earth orbit destination capabilities that will be able to supply the government and private sectors with exactly what they need. We already have these first renders of these new stations, but they can be modified based on what industry and governments request. NASA plans to release the draft of what their service and crew requirements for low Earth orbit will be in 2022. In late 2025 or early 2026, NASA will proceed into phase two, where they will begin the transition towards a commercial low Earth orbit destination system with the ISS's retirement plans also being finalized. NASA will certify one or more of these new destinations for NASA crew members and will ultimately purchase services from these destination providers for crews to use when available. So in the future, we're not going to have space stations. NASA is going to refer to them as destinations. This strategy provides NASA and other government agencies the ability to find the lowest cost and most equipped destination at the time in low Earth orbit. But also so NASA can focus on the Artemis missions to the moon and Mars, they're just purchasing the ability to go. They don't actually have to develop these places by themselves. NASA estimates the agency's future needs in low Earth orbit will require continuous accommodation and training for at least two NASA astronauts, as well as the ability to support a national orbiting laboratory and the performance of approximately 200 investigations annually to support human research, technology demonstrations, and biological and physical science. Now let's not forget that in January 2020, NASA also awarded Axiom Space to develop the Axiom Station, which will originally be attached to the ISS while it's built, and in 2028 will separate from the International Space Station and become free-flying. So there it is. We officially have four new space stations or destinations officially in the design and development phase with the support of NASA. We're going from one to at least four. Now, over the last decade, we've seen a major transition from how NASA and the space industry works. They're transitioning to a model where commercial industry owns and operates the assets in low Earth orbit, and NASA has just become one of what will in the future we hope to be many customers, thus helping to save on the cost to live and work in low Earth orbit and helping drive the cost of innovation and exploration down so the agencies can focus on going further into space to the moon and Mars. So what do you think? We want to hear from you in the comments. Do you like these space stations? Which one would you want to visit first? Make sure to never miss another TLP news update by engaging that subscribe button. And we are super excited to be launching our brand new weekly live show, The Launch Pod, on January 6th. That's all for this TLP Flash News update. This is Zach, signing off.